Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Thursday, the 4th of July 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Moura. Okay, well, happy Independence Day to those of you that are celebrating. I do hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the celebrations. And let's hope that we have a wonderful message from Spirit to go with it. <laughs> okay. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit for Thursday the 4th? Wow, okay. <clears throat> One, two, three. And your first card is the Knight of Pentacles. Followed by Major Arcana, number 13, the Lord of Shadows. And followed by the Two of Pentacles. Hmm, okay, so your first card is the wonderful Knight of Pentacles. I really like the knights in this deck. <laughs> uh, and this knight, this, this particular horse, really reminds me of... Um, Mine and Ruby's old hacking buddy. So um, I think this horse from now on is going to be known as Flash, <laughs> and the and the knight uh, uh, known as Claire. So this is Claire and Flash. <laughs> well, the Knight of Pentacles. Knights are movement. They are journey. They are action. Um, You're carrying flowers as well, so I do feel, uh, and they're pink, so I'm feeling it's like everything in your garden is rosy. Um, I'm seeing the green around you, so I'm feeling that there is um, a certain feeling of um, success, growth and abundance. Um, and the knight is carrying a pentacle coming towards you with a pentacle. Um, I'm really feeling prosperity and abundance moving towards you today, my friends. Um, knights also can signify you, uh, um, journey for you. So maybe this could be going on holiday, taking a mini break, or going on a cruise, um, relocating. Maybe you're starting college or university. Um, but in the in the main, in general, I am feeling that actually it is pentacles that are moving towards you. Wow. Okay. And next you have the Lord of Shadows, Major Arcana number thirteen. Major Arcana speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. This is today a real change, a, a transformation. This is real endings and beginnings. Um, I would look here on the path and the Lord of Shadows is kind of stood here behind the tree uh, and walking away into the distance um, father and child having just got some nice pure fresh water from the well um, all of this is signifying um, a purity coming um, a change coming I'm feeling this is working with the cycles of nature um, and I'm truly feeling my friends that this is um, a, a one way that you have been living I really feel he's over um, and you're walking towards a new way of living, a new way of being in, in the in the world. Ooh, okay. 
and next you have the two of pentacles to the number of relationships partnerships options and choices this is uh, also experience um, and I feel you are experiencing um, experiencing here keeping your finances going um, I'm drawn here to the, the the sly old fox in the background it's almost as if um, you're oblivious to others around you um, that would take your pentacles from you if if they could um, but I don't feel that's going to happen my friends because um, although you're standing on one foot um, and there is kind of a storm brewing in the background um, I actually feel that you are um, doing a perfect job of juggling your finances uh, maybe some of you are multitasking doing a bit of robbing peter to pay paul uh, but i do feel that you're successful in this um, i don't feel that the stormy background or any turbulence is kind of um, putting you off uh, I, I, this guy really is looking at this pentacle so it's kind of isn't you're not letting anyone put you off your line of sight um, you're keeping your eyes on the ball you're keeping your eyes on the prize and well mr sly old fox he might as well go somewhere else because you're not giving up your finances okay um, I really feel that there's a change and transformation today, my friends, and one way that you have been living is about to end and a wonderful new way is coming. Um, you're being washed clean, uh, purified, um, and I do see... I'm really feeling abundance, uh, prosperity um, coming towards you. And I also feel that when it does, um, you're going to be um, you're going to be able to hang on to it, and you're going to be able to spend it wisely, use it wisely. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, okay, okay. We'll have witch's wisdom, Barbara Mickle, John Free, and Flavia Kate Peters. Thank you. Let me just pop those up there. And I'll lower the camera. Okay. And you have. Wow. Rebirth. I'm going to put that actually under the Lord of Shadows because I really feel that this is kind of what is occurring. Okay. <clears throat> the last page in the book like the celebrated midwinter sun it's time to make your ascent you are growing stronger and an exalted journey awaits wow yule honors the return of the sun's power a celebration of its rebirth your battle has been won and you can take your deserved place next to the winning oak king who reigns supreme at yule over the holly king until they meet again at the solstice of summer so spruce yourself up for yule brings great news of impending rebirth for a new way of life is just around the corner rebirth can come in many forms such as a heading in a new direction a promotion a new job new perception empowerment or enhanced connection with the old ways Whatever it is you have been asking for comes to pass when Yule arrives. So be expectant and positive as rebirth accompanies you through to the other side where you will emerge wiser and stronger than ever before. You waned, now growing like the sun, who's born again, the light was won, with Yule log placed upon the fire, rebirth delivers your heart's desire i really was drawn to the flowers um 
that this knight is bringing towards you. Um, rebirth, rebirth, I am hearing. Oh, wow. Something really good on its way to you, my friend. I'm really drawn to it being um, abundance and prosperity. Wisdom of Avalon, Colette Baron Reed. <clears throat> new life. A wonderful new life coming towards you. Wow. What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. Okay. And you have the king man authority male sexual energy things pertaining to the law and justice and he is number three um so i really feel this transformation and change is coming my friends because you are now coming from a place of authenticity uh you have mastered that the king is a master um, master of all emotions so I do feel that you have mastered all of your emotions um, and, and this is I'm really feeling this is a wholehearted action that's going on here my friends oh okay you being your wonderful genuine authentic selves when the king appears to represent the powers of justice authority the law and male sexual energy when the king appears on your path, it's time to put your house in order. Complete any unresolved legal issues and deal with issues related to fairness. The king always lets you know that something significant is yours to experience and learn from. The king requires you to take inventory of anything left undone and do it. Pay bills, settle arguments, make amends and act with authority as all these actions abolish weakness and restore power you are also reminded that the king is regarded in highest esteem and within his natural authority he acts with intelligence and strategy think and analyze and the king will bestow great gifts on you there is another meaning when the king appears on your path and if you're inquiring about a man and your relationship to him, the king stands well to represent him, which will bode well or not so well, depending on which other cards flank the king. But pay attention, for this king reminds you to take affirmative action in your life. And the knights, it's come under the knight, they are action. They are about forward movement. They are about courage and bravery. So it's about having the courage and the bravery, I really feel, to um, end one way of, of living and start a new way of living. Rebirth is on the way. It's to do with your finances, my friends. I'm really feeling abundance and prosperity. Um, I'm feeling, you know, um, lack, I feel, is going um, and prosperity is, is coming because this... Lord of the Shadows is telling us we are ending one way of being and beginning another. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. What is the message for? Thank you. Okay, and your unicorn is cycles everything has its right time honor the cycles of your body and tune in to the moon's magic so we've just had a new moon on the second um the energies hang around you know a little bit before and a little bit after new moon coming up on the 16th using these moon cycles my friends i'm really drawn to the the color um it's a real lavender shade so i'm really feeling um 
I'm feeling that stress, that for some of you have been through a real stressful time, it's been around finances uh, and resources in the physical, um, but I do feel that you are um, about to become stress free. There's a change. We're looking here at the butterflies and there is a change because everything has a right time and a right place. And I do feel that the right time and place is yours today, my friends. And the whole bottom of the row is absolutely is, is purple. Um, so this is also crown chakra energy. Um, so I do feel that you are you're more enlightened now you you understand working with with cycles uh purple's also the color of ambition and and wealth luxury um it's all coming my friends and it's coming i really feel also purple is devotion um, um there's a new devotion to yourself here more devoted to you you're bringing yourself these flowers that's why they're really really sticking out to me um yeah Wow, what an absolutely wonderful, wonderful message. Yeah, prosperity and abundance on its way. We'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. And thank you, too, for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until tomorrow my friends goodbye